Wonderful people, viewers, friends, it is with a heavy heart that I have to inform you that we've lost a dear friend of this world. But before we get into that, there's something I've been teasing for a long, long time. Something that was bound to happen. Something big. Something massive. Something some might even call mega. That's right, it's that time. It's time we start working on the big stuff. I mean, the city is pretty big, but I'm pretty sure you could fit most of this city into the build. I'm gonna begin today. And that's right, I'm saying begin. Because let me tell you, the plans I have for this is gonna take a little while. It's not an afternoons type of work, it's more like several weeks. I'll, I'll be happy if we're done by October, yeah, about that, about that big. <laughs> so, you know, we gotta start sometimes and we gotta start somewhere. And the place we're about to start is right here. This thing is going to cover the area from here and pretty much this entire space here. And so, to get started on this, I guess I'm gonna need a few materials. Like, well you'll see actually. Let's go gather them. Ho hopefully we get everything pretty fast. It's, I mean, this is I'm gonna need a lot of blocks. It's not the big part of the thing I'm building right now. It's gonna, I'm gonna build a small part of it. But still, it's, I'm gonna need a lot of materials. <sighs> and the first of the materials that I need is clay. Clay is probably the most annoying block in Minecraft. Unfortunately though, it also creates some of the most beautiful blocks in Minecraft. Clay pots, bigger clay pots, and bricks, which makes bricks. And to get bricks that make bricks, you need to smelt clay, and that's what I'm doing here. With my handy dandy super smelter. And after getting bricked up in the super smelter, it's time to cut down some more trees. I've been doing this a lot in my world, and I will continue to do it even more. And beside woods, mud, clay, bricks, all that stuff, I'm, I need deep slate. Always deep slate. I mean, these are the these are the materials, people. Those are the things I use in my builds, and I need them a lot, actually, super much, super super a lot, really. All right, I've got my stuff collected. We got some beautiful deep slate right in here. We got some nice little granite and terracotta in this one. Got a couple of bricks and some mud, and hopefully, wait, where's my wood? Oh crap, I forgot my wood. And there's the wood, I found it. I just happened to put it in a barrel once I was done collecting it. It took a lot of space in the inventory. But now we got wood, we've got mud, we've got bricks, we've got terracotta, and we've got some cobbled deep slate. Now, first off, I kinda wanna mark out the area where this build is supposed to be. And this is the area I had in mind. Now I know what you're thinking, Bastid, this doesn't look very big at all, and you said you were going mega, right? Mega. That means pretty big. And this, this isn't it. You have bigger buildings in the city. Yes, I know. But don't judge the book by its cover, you know? This thing isn't meant to take up a lot of space like this. This thing is supposed to take up a lot of space like this. That's right. This thing is going to be tall. And when I say tall, I mean the peak of this thing is probably gonna be higher than the iron farm's top up there. And I can say that pretty confidently, because I know that I'm probably going to look down at the iron farm from this. So I guess let's start building up. Okay, I, I know I said I had everything I needed, but I just had a look at my design of this and I don't have everything I need. Nope. I don't. We are also going to need some of this. And luckily, I happen to have some of those. Just for an occasion like this. So I'm just gonna grab as many as I can, and I'll probably even return to grab some more. Oh, and by the way, the, the moss farm is doing fine. Look at this. Yup, this thing has been running. It has been doing work. 
And all of these bones are from the moss farm. That thing is seriously pushing out some blocks. And even this cactus farm is doing rather well. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm missing more than just bone blocks for this first part of the build, but... Eh, what does it matter? We can gather it while we build, huh? Ain't that right. So how about I build up this little first part up to a certain point, and then let's have a look at the texturing for it. Because it's going to be pretty cool. Alright, but hear me out, okay? Like this, it's a it's a cool texture and all, but you, you, you have to imagine it with the details. Oh yeah, you don't know what the detail's gonna look like, so that's not gonna help much. Anyways, that's what it looks like. It's gonna be cool, trust me. I'm an engineer. No, I'm not. I don't know shit about building. Anyways, trust me, it's gonna look beautiful. And now we just need to go higher by a bit. Uh, a lot, actually. About this tall, in fact. Actually, yeah, right about this tall. Mm, should do it. Look at this now. It takes me two rockets to get to the top. And this is, I don't know, a hundred and something blocks. It's tall. It's tall! That's what I'm saying! I'm looking down at Bass Town! I thought I built that thing on a mountain! Turns out, it's just a hill. It ain't that big, huh? But this tower for sure is. And you know something fun? Getting down it, it takes a while. I did not think I would survive that, but I did. Anyways, as you can see, this tower is missing a few things, like details. Like all of the details, actually. It, it didn't do any detailing. I did, I did texturing. Texturing is done. But I think it'll look better once I've got some details in there. But I have planned out where the windows should be, where some elytra landing spacey thingies will be, you know. I've got some stuff planned out, and I know for sure what I want to do for the details. So, how about we boot up the first time lapse of the video, and we finish this monstrosity off in style. Editor Basti, roll a time lapse in 3, 2, 1, let's go! This is a tower. Look at it. Just look at it. I love how this thing came out. It's really, really, really nice. I love doing these like little window thingies with like the iron bars. And these are like some modern details, some old school details. I'm trying to blend classic and modern in a way. Which makes it look kind of cool, kind of futuristic, but also in some way makes it kind of steampunk. But not steampunk. Do you get it? Do you get what I, what I mean by that? Me neither. Good. Then we're two. It's, I, I think it's a really cool clock tower. So that's what it is. It's a clock tower. At some point we might get an interior here and something other than just, you know, brown walls. Do you know, by the way, by the way... This build took me way longer than it should have because I had to go and get a bunch, bunch of these mud stuff because I ran out. I ran out. I thought I had enough. I did not have, not even nearly enough. Nope. Uh, so I had to grab some more and I even had to pull some off the walls to, to make it work. But you know what? It works. I got it done. Well, you know, at least this done. But you know what? Not only... Does this tower look really cool? It also marks the beginning of my mega base project for this world. That's right, this tower is going to connect over to the monstrosity that is gonna occupy this space right here. This tower was a grind to do, 
this was three hours straight of building and not to mention the the resource gathering I needed for it. It took me a while to build this thing and then I kind of knew what I was doing all the time as well. Well, the thing behind it is going to be at least 20 times the size. At least. It's massive. And I'm looking forward to starting that. So I hope you're excited to watch it. I can't believe we're starting the mega base stuff now. I am so excited for it. You know, I'm ready. I am so ready. What is not ready though, is my resources. Because, well, I thought I was stocked. I thought I had everything I needed. But man, these bone blocks, I went through a whole bunch of it. This is what I have left. And you know what? That emptied out a large portion of my chest of bone blocks I have down by the moss farm. So I'm gonna have to keep that thing running for a while if we're going to build the thing I want to build because it's using a lot of bone blocks. And I know this tower is looking kind of lonely like this, standing by its lonesome. But don't worry, the city will spread out this way as well. We'll be working on the city too. I don't want to just build mega base because uh, that would tire me out and make me burn out of, of doing fun stuff in Minecraft. And I don't want that. It's not fun just building one massive building. So I'm gonna sprinkle it out with a few small buildings as well. I have some plans for over here and haven't really thought of anything to do here yet, but that'll come to me in time, in time. Besides, we need to figure out what to do with this building too. I'm thinking of just moving it for now, somewhere. I don't know where, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together, you and me. So if you have suggestions, I suggest you put them in the comment section down below. Or, if you're so inclined, you're free and welcome to join my Discord server. It's called Basti's Corner of the Interwebs, and it will be linked in the description down below. But that is enough mega base for today, because we've got some other plans. We have another building I want to build right over this way. You see, this place is looking kind of, uh, kind of naked, huh? There's nothing really connecting this and, well, out this way is just empty space. So we're gonna have to start filling it. And I've got a great idea for a build that's going to be located right here. You see, I want there to be a road going right through here. But I don't want it to be just a road. I want, what do you call it? A vault? A valve? A vault? Is it vault? That sounds wrong. That sounds wrong in my ears. A bendy thing. Yes, a tunnely bendy thing. That's what we're building. The tunnely bendy thing with a little building attached to it. That's the technical term for it. Yes, I'm an engineer. Forget what I said earlier about not being one. I am one of those. Now. I first kind of want to mark out where this kind of tunnely thing should be and where the road should go. So I think it should be right about here. Yeah, this should do it. So the road will be going through here. What this is marking out is kind of where I want a small building to be. So the building goes from this corner. It goes out to this. This is flush. I kind of want this wall to be flush because then it leads better towards this road right here. I feel that's kind of important, you know, it's a dock area, there's a lot of traffic going through here, so, so you know, you kind of want free access, yeah, makes sense so far, good. And there will be the, the tunnely vaulty thingy, the, the tunnely, you know, the thingy, the, the, the thing I'm building, it's supposed to go right, woo, like this, the U thing. And then building here, a bit taller than the U thingy, roof maybe, leading into this place, I know, I think it's, I think it's gonna look great. I think it's not gonna look great. In fact, in fact, I know it's gonna look great. I absolutely know it. And you know how I know it? Because I'm building it. That's why. Have I not built good stuff so far? People, trust me, I can do this. So, I guess let's build it. Yeah, let's build it. Right now. Oh, build the best. Just build it. I'm working on it. And first off, we're gonna need a dang foundation which marks out where the road's supposed to be. And once that's done, we're gonna have to build the whole tower thingy, the, the house part connected to it, you know? We need that. We need that. And then we're gonna need a roof. And that's gonna have to be made by some kind of material as well. And, and, and then we're gonna have to have details. Lots, lots of details, you know? It's not that, it's not, oh, it's done. And wow, people, there we go. Look at this building. 
isn't she beautiful? I think it fits right in with the rest of the stuff. Oh, oh, what's all this? Uh, well, yeah, you know, as things go, I got a little bit carried away and I built some roads. Yeah, a, a few and an, an interior. Look at this. It's a shirt to the ocean goat. Look at those mighty horns. Wow. We can preach about the wonders of the ocean goat all we want. And we even got roads to here now. And the main street road connects to the dock area. And it goes straight through here. And we even have a little graveyard. And that, people, brings us to the unfortunate news. Yes. I think it's time we talk about the elephant in the room. Or rather, the animal that is no longer with us. You know, people, since I started this Minecraft journey on my YouTube channel, we've made a few friends along the ways in this world, and some of them has been here longer than others. Binky, for one, has been here since episode one, and he's been through some stuff. He's seen some stuff, that guy. Rincewind the Goat has been here for a long time as well, as well as the Ocean Goat. Bacon and Ham has not been with us for very long, but they're still members of this world and they've been living on the cliffside since we found them. The horse with no name has been living down at the bottom in the ocean next to the cliffside as well. Something that has never happened before is that one of our friends has gone. And now one has. And it's sad. We don't like our friends going, but that is the way of life. Nothing in this world is permanent. And that goes for everything. Sometimes your favorite toy goes missing. Sometimes your favorite YouTuber might retire. Sometimes we lose a dear friend and there is nothing we can do to fight it. The only thing we can do is to cherish and enjoy the heck out of the things we have while we still got them. And that brings me to the sad, sad news. Rebo's gone. The cat has left me. The cat has gone. I've been looking everywhere. I've, I've went down into the water. I can't find him. He wouldn't have jumped down there anyway. Cats don't like water, right? I, I think so. But he's gone. He's been missing. He's been living right here for a long time. And now he's gone. And the world is just that much emptier for it. It's been three weeks since Gribo disappeared. I haven't told you guys about that because I was hoping he would come back. And I wouldn't have to tell you. But he's gone. And people, I don't think he's coming back. Gribo was one of the first animals we found on the cliffside. He used to live right here. He's been in a few of the videos and he's been meowing up a storm in my intros when I used to do them back up here. And... And now he's gone. No more meowing up a storm while I'm trying to record and I think I'm gonna miss it, actually. You never quite know what you have until he's gone, huh? I'm gonna miss that little guy. And so, how about we do something special for our lost feline friend? Come with me. So if you come in just right here, I've, I've got something prepared. This, people, is the final resting place of Gribo. I guess there's nothing to it, but let's place a sign. Gribo, you were one of the best cats a virtual man could have. Your ones and zeros will be remembered forever. You were the first animal on the cliffside, and unfortunately, you were also the first one to leave the cliffside. Gribo, just know you will be remembered. Right there. 
Anyways. Wait, cat meows? Look at this. Look at this little fella. Look at him. Right there. He's been there for a while now. There are some strange animals in this world. Hi, cat. Are you keeping the creepers away right there? You're doing a good job, sir. Yeah, I know. Cool, right? And also, this guy is named Grebo now. Yep, his name is Grebo. It was another wonderful suggestion by Christopher Yee, and I stand by it. His name is Grebo. Back here we have Grebo. He's Grebo? out here. Where? Here. Oh, I hear him. Yeah. Hello, Grebo. He's one of the many animals named by Christopher Yee. Can we go say hi? Yeah, I'm not gonna go too close. I'm just gonna sit here and say hi. 